what people how are you today i am cat lady antigone and with this makeup look i am reviewing the alice in wonderland palette from wicked widow this is the second palette that i'm getting from wicked widow i have another one the scissor hands too but i have only tried a duochrome from the other palette so i don't know how it's working really when it comes to this palette though i have tried the palette before because i had time so i thought like why not playing with the palette a little bit before the video so I will not do a first impressions video and I will give you a full opinion about the palette as we can see here we have eight colors will the camera focus today no I don't think so but it's okay I think you can see the colors we have two duochromes the key right here and who are you the key is a very very beautiful from blue to purple and who are you is a very beautiful green to blue wow like i'm really really getting excited to try these two and if you want to see swatches from the whole palette i'm gonna leave some swatches here for you to admire the colors and i feel like doing a very very colorful look today so without any further ado let's start the makeup i have already primed my eyes with pro filter from fenty beauty and i'm ready to dive into the palette well for the first eyeshadow i'm gonna go with a matte this one right here which is called imposter and with a kind of fluffy brush i'm planning to apply it right here at the outer part of my eye and in a circular shape because the plan is to have some mats at the outer part of my eye and then here at the inner part i would like to try the multi-chromes they're so so intriguing to me wow look how beautiful color is this it's not the first time that i see it on action but actually this teal color is one of my favorites really so i just love 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 using it it's so beautiful and it gives me mermaid vibes for some reason i don't know why but it does i'm gonna continue with this grass green which is called dreamer and as you can see there is a bit of kickback in the eyeshadow but I think that this is depending on the brush. For example, I'm using quite loose brushes, as you can see here. But if you're using a more stiff brush and not that fluffy, I don't think that you're gonna have this because I have used another brush which is not as fluffy as this and I didn't have the same issue. Well, to me, it's not really an issue, but since I'm reviewing the palette, I feel that I have to tell you about it. All in all, the quality and the blendability are super, super nice. And look how greatly the teal with the grass green are going together. I love this color combo. The next color that I'm gonna use is this orangey yellow. It's a very interesting color, which you cannot really say that it's an orange, but you cannot really say that it's a yellow as well. So I'm gonna take this brush from LH Cosmetics, the 303, and I'm gonna apply it here at the inner part of my eye, but I'm not gonna bring it down because I need the space for the multi-chromes. Wow, wow, isn't it a great continuation to the green? I love it, wow, and I love that this is not an orange because I don't really like orange as a color that much, but this is really, really beautiful, Ooh, perfect. Have you seen the movies with Alice in Wonderland? I have only seen the animated version, I think it's Disney, Disney, yeah, of course it's Disney, but I was very, very young and I don't remember a lot. I'm planning to rewatch both the animated and the other version with the actors, with Johnny Depp and everything. I find all the concepts and patterns and everything about the movie so interesting and so twisted in a way, which is not disturbing, but also it's not like a classical fairy tale. And to me, this is so magical. I have applied the primer potion from Carla Cosmetics here, where I have space on my eyelid. And while I'm waiting, for it to get dry a little bit i'm gonna take this brush from wooden sai and i'm gonna dive into nonsense i haven't tried this color from the palette to be honest but it seems so promising so i'm gonna apply it here at the bottom part of my eye have as many colors as possible i have a great mood today and i want to reflect it to my makeup Ooh, look how pretty it is 
how nice it is blended into the other one, the imposter, the teal. Wow, I love it. Have you tried any palette from Wicked Widow? Because this is, as I told you, the second, but first also for me, because I haven't really tried the other palette. But I'm very, very impressed from their quality and they have very, very beautiful ideas and color stories in their palettes. So I think that in the future I would like to buy more from them since I see that they are doing a great job here. And now it's time for the multi-chrome! Oh my god, I'm so excited! I'm gonna start with the key right here, the blue to purple multi-chrome. And I have found a trick with the multi-chromes which is working quite nicely for me. I'm first going with my finger, I roughly apply it where I want it to be, and then with a brush I'm fixing the blending, the details, everything. Ooh, I need you to see how beautiful beautiful is this multi-chrome. Oh my god, can you see it? I think that the camera is not really focusing, but please try to see it. It's, wow, it's stunning. So let me start applying it here. Oh, wow, it's so beautiful. Oh, colors like this are making me so happy. Oh, look how multidimensional it is. They have done an amazing job with this smooth chrome. Wow, I'm impressed. Now I'm gonna try the other shimmer of the palette, the Rabbit. It's not multi-chrome or duochrome, but it's still very, very impressive. Again, I'm gonna go with my finger. Can you see it? Can you see it next to the blue? Wow, they are so amazing together. And basically I'm gonna apply it here at my inner corner. And of course I'm gonna fix it with a brush later on. They are matching perfectly. Wow, because here we have some purple as well, so the purple is blending with the other purple, the rabbit that I'm using right now. So I think that this combination is bomb, really. I, in general, liked my eye look. I think that I'm gonna decorate it a bit more with some eyeliners and stuff like that. But all in all, I'm super impressed from the palette. The quality is amazing! What do you think about the colors that I used? Would you like this color combination? Would you do something similar at your makeup? Tell me your ideas down in the comments. And also tell me, can you see any other combination that I fail to see right now? Would I use this palette again in a Get Ready With Me? Hmm, I think yes, because it's very, very beautiful. The last eyeshadow that I'm gonna use from the palette is called Drink Me and it's gonna be the highlighter for today so with an ugly brush I'm gonna take an amount and I'm gonna use it basically here at my inner corner and a little bit under my eyebrow area to give some more light to the look. Tell me if you have seen the film, do you have a favorite that was bitter? Oh my god! Don't try to taste your setting spray, it's not good. Anyway, anyway, you have a favorite character from the movie. I was trying to say before I taste the setting spray. Anyway, let's forget about it. To me, Cesar Cat is a very, very interesting character. And of course, you know, I'm a bit biased when it comes to the cats. I have two cats myself and I really, really love twisted cat characters, if you know what I mean. If you have, write down in the comments. I would be very, very happy to discuss about it with you. Now the plan is to turn off the camera, to finish with eyelashes, some details and everything that I need to do to have this makeup completed and then of course I will come back, as I always do, to tell you my final thoughts, my opinion about the palette, my opinion about Wicked Widow in general because again it's a very very interesting brand and it's the kind of first palette that I have from them. So wait for me, I'm coming back very very soon. And now it's time for the Greek word of the day. Well my favorite eyeshadow of the palette is this one which is called Ki. So I'm gonna tell you the Greek word for Ki and in Greek we say Klidi. Say with me, Kli, 
V. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the word TV or actually tell me the word in your own native language. And let's move on to the lip makeup. Today I had quite a hard time to choose between pink and brown and in the end I decided to do them both because I feel that both colors are fitting this eye look. So I'm gonna start with this lip pencil from Glam Shop in the shade Milk Chocolate and then on top I'm gonna I'm gonna apply from wooden side the tulipa kiss this bullet lipstick right here okay we still have the focus issue it's fine I'm gonna fix it until the next video I promise and then we have from Colourpop just a tin and the idea is to have this at the edge of my lips and this in the middle and later on I'm planning to blend them together and maybe I'm gonna add a gloss if I do so it's gonna be just a clear gloss just to bring everything together. Review time! I think you already know what I'm about to say for this palette. This palette is amazing! The mattes are so blendable, so soft and nice. They have a little bit of kickback but nothing very serious. They have an amazing pigmentation, they are so rich and beautiful and they don't have this chalky effect that I don't really like to see on my palettes. When it comes to the shimmers and the duochromes, like I don't know if there's anything to say about them, they are stunning. And and see here, no creasing at all. And this is a huge plus for me because usually I have issues with um, duochrome formulas having a little bit too much oil and then in combination with my extremely oily eyelids, this is a disaster, which we didn't have with this palette, fortunately. If you are curious where I bought it from, I bought it from Monolith. So if you are also living in Europe, you can find a lot of stuff there. They can a lot of indie brands. This video is not sponsored. I haven't got any PR from them, but they are doing an amazing job and I always want to let you know about stuff like this. So tell me, are you planning to buy this palette? Are you planning to buy anything else from Wicked Widow? And if yes, what is this item gonna be? Please tell me in the comments. I really need some more ideas and I really need something to have as a guide in the brand because they have a lot of beautiful stuff. And that was it! This was our video for today! I hope you enjoyed the makeup, I hope that I helped you a bit with my review on this palette. If yes, don't forget to subscribe and I also have a TikTok and Instagram account, so if you want you can follow me there as well, everywhere! My username is CatLadyAndigoni and I will be very very happy to see you there as well. Thank you so so much for being here with me today. I appreciate you a lot a lot a lot a lot. See you next time with a more chatty video and until then bye bye!